You ask for strobes? Here's your damn strobes. Yep, I just purchased this lot of Edward 792s. The full model number on these is 792-7A-006. And this series of notification appliances is somewhat rare. It was produced for a few years in the 1990s before being replaced by the much more widespread Integrity series, which is still in production 20 years later. You've probably noticed this grill and wondered, is this a horn strobe or a speaker strobe? These are actually horn strobes, despite the grill pattern. Those speaker strobe versions do exist. Now these are four wire horn strobes, but as you can see here, some of them came with jumper wires to allow for two wire operation. The horn on the 792 is an electronic horn. It's one of those older analog types, basically a piezo speaker attached to a projector horn, similar to the system sensor mass, except that these are single tone and produce a steady low pitched buzzer like the earlier 892 series. Also like the 892, particular, particularly the 1B, you can see there's a little potentiometer right there, which is used for controlling the pitch. Um, it's not easy to access, and these are not intended to be user serviceable. As it says right here, caution, no user adjustments or serviceable parts. But I was able to get in there with the help of this little piece of chicken wire, which I twisted. So at the end of the video, you will be able to see me changing the pitch on one of these. The strobe on these, if we look at the tag, is 15 slash 75 candela. So here it has the 15 candela rating. It says signaling for the hearing impaired. And this is the 75 candela rating. Somewhere, I don't know if you could see it there. And warning private mode only, not for the hearing impaired. So I think Edwards should have made up its mind but it's rated both for 15 and 75 candela, which usually means that it's 75 candela when viewed from the front and 15 candela when viewed from the side. Another little interesting factoid we'll see here is that Edwards is headquartered in Farmington, Connecticut. That's actually just one town over from me. Uh, a lot of fire alarm companies are actually headquartered in Connecticut. Firelight is in New Haven and Notifier is in Northford. Space Age is in Massachusetts, and so is Simplex, so there's a lot of fire alarm companies headquartered in New England. Another interesting thing is that these are actually dual listed for use in both the United States and Canada. Usually you'll see the like one or the other on the sticker. It'll either be UL listed or ULC listed, even if it's the same product. So the lot I purchased came with eight of them. Seven are the rear ceiling mount type, and one of them's the normal wall mount. Um, I'm going to be selling a few of these on eBay if anyone's interested, although the one here has a broken horn. It produces the tone but doesn't actually output it to the speaker for some reason. Uh, so needless to say, I won't be selling it, at least not full price. So these are pretty simple horn strobes, so I think I'm pretty much done. Um, you got to see them tested, you got to see me adjust the pitch, so that's pretty much it for today. Happy Fire Alarm Friday, and thank you very much for watching. This has been Fahrenheit 4051, signing out.